I think the whole rationale for the polygenic risk score, genomic risk score, is that certain PSA has limitations as a standalone screening tool. Hereditary factors have a strong influence of prostate cancer risk and outcomes. Prostate cancer has high heritability, 40 to 57 percent. High penetrative screens, as you've heard, uh, are important, but explain a fraction of risk. Again, uh, as Rule mentioned, 12 percent of men with localized disease and 20 percent, 8 to 12 percent with localized disease and 20 percent. 20% of men with metastatic disease. Numerous GWAS studies have identified over 250 SNPs. Uh, even though each individual SNP contributes only modestly or, or to susceptibility, it's the combined effects which account for 33% of the familial risk. Um, either we've already been told what a SNP is, uh, and again, this could be used at many, many uh, different parts of the spectrum from preclinical symptoms uh, to support diagnosis, decision making and uh, prognosis has already been uh, mentioned. Uh, I'll just review one study, again, a very recent study, a trans-ancestry genome-wide association study, meta-analysis, and uh, this included both European an ancestry, uh, African an ancestry, and East Asian ancestry. It's, again, a part of multi-large uh, cohorts, and again, just shows you that uh, increased risks with uh, the, the decile of, of a, a, a genomic score that you have, both in Europeans and for men with African ancestry, both were predictive. Uh, and then again, we're comparing Europeans to African uh, ancestry here, showing a greater risk with an African ancestry, also with uh, East Asian ancestry. Again, this has been reviewed, and again, it just shows you that over time, the relative risk increases over time depending on your uh, genome uh, score. Uh, again, this has been going on. I, this is just one recent study that uh, both Brian and I have been on, uh, Bill Catalona's study looking at genetic basis of prostate cancer and active surveillance failure, and he showed that, in fact, those men who have the higher decile uh, uh, scores had a higher risk of progression on surveillance. Now, what we don't know and we didn't do in this study is compare that to other predictors of outcome uh, like PSA density, MRI, and, and uh, genomic scores, uh, Oncotype, Decipher, and, and others. So again, just to summarize this, it's already been gone over uh, qu quite well. A large number of risk variants associated with prostate cancer incidence across populations. It improves, the GRS improves on the use of age and family history. Uh, it has not been incorporated yet into screening guidelines. Again, this will be mentioned in the, the NCCN guidelines, I think, going forward. But I think one of the questions we, we want to answer is how do we incorporate this into uh, uh, our analysis now. There have been some, uh, I think Jerry mentioned we could consider it, but, but again, I, I think few people are using this uh, early on. I do think larger populations need to be examined, particularly in those of African ancestry, to better understand this. The cohorts I showed were relatively limited compared to European uh, cohorts. Uh, thank you.